What up? This is JP from Off the Ball Now We're giving you a recap of week 11 of the NFL season. We are just getting so close of the NFL playoffs. I'm excited. I can't wait for it though. But we got a couple more weeks and everything. So definitely, definitely get ready for the playoffs. Get your t get your head ready. Get everything ready. Popcorn. Everything ready for the NFL playoffs. It's getting close. It's getting heated in races and stuff. So before we get into the recap of week 11, make sure you subscribe down below to Off The Ball Network for all your sports needs. Also follow us on our social media platforms. Check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. Everything you need, articles, podcasts, everything you need is on OffTheBallNetwork.com. Player scouts from college basketball, just everything. We are getting heavy in college basketball, NBA heavy because it's getting hot. Especially with the fight at the mouths of the Palace too. I'm just just kidding. It wasn't really much of a fight though. You know, LeBron and that other guy got suspended. Uh, but it is what it is though. Um, but definitely check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. Shout out to the guys from OffTheBallNetwork doing their thing. Giving y'all every content. Giving you the best content ever. It's dope. Definitely follow us. Follow the movement. Feel like we're the best four letter company everywhere we're the best we are the best but let's go ahead and get into the nfl recap so thursday night's game we started out with the patriots versus the falcons everybody kept talking about the 28 to 3 like the worst loss in sports history which i agree because it happened at a super bowl well you think the falcons was going to win the super bowl they were up 28 to 3 ridiculous circus catch by julio jones then Tom Brady, you would never count out Tom Brady because Tom Brady comes back and defeats him and James White. They defeated the Falcons. It was uh, just a terrible loss for the Falcons. And they just still haven't recovered since. So maybe there could be a chance. This is, you know, Tom Brady is out of there now. So it's a chance for the Falcons to redeem themselves against the Patriots. Because they've been on a really good streak as of recently and all that, you know, beating teams and everything, you know, and finding their rhythm and everything. And, yeah, pretty much it was not the case, though. I mean, 25-0, to 25-0. Matt Ryan was struggling. That offense was struggling. I mean, <laughs> Matt Jones, 207 yards, a touchdown. That defense for the New England Patriots is really good. They're very underrated. They are really good. And, you know, Belichick would never let anything slide, though. So, hey, that was a really great defensive play call it on Bill Belichick and the defensive coordinator, too, as well. And you still got Josh McDaniels. Um, helping out that offense though too as well. Uh, Stevenson with 69 yards, Gage 49 yards and five receptions from the Falcons. But yeah, it was pretty much that you know the Patriots defense was the MVP of the game. They just they shut out the Falcons. They shut out the Falcons. So we probably ain't gonna see them winning the NFC South anytime soon. Now let's go ahead and get into the Colts versus the Bills. The Bills. Man, they were just awful. I mean, they were just awful. They could not stop Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor is like a cheat code in Madden. This dude was just unbelievable. 185 yards on 32 carries and four touchdowns. The Bills defense could not stop Jonathan Taylor. He was running up that scoreboard. Oh, five touchdowns. It's actually five touchdowns, not four touchdowns. Come on. But yeah, he he destroyed. I mean, just destroyed. He was just unbelievable. Like man, he was just unbelievable. I mean, the Bills were just struggling. They just couldn't do anything. But 41 to 15, the Colts. The Colts are looking really good. They are looking really good. Then we have the Ravens versus the Bills. Well. This is without Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson was out with the illness. They were depleted, and they still, <laughs> and they still won against the Bills. Man, Matt Nagy, I am surprised he's still not fired yet. They just fired Jason Gator as an offensive coordinator for the Giants and fired the head coach too as well. I believe so. Man, they still haven't fired Matt Nagy. They they need to let him go. They really need to let him go. Put in Ryan Day. Put in. Dan Mullen putting somebody that can help Justin Fields succeed in the NFL. I mean, goodness gracious. 16 to 13, the Ravens. Uh, Freeman touchdown lifted the Ravens um, with, you know, without Lamar Jackson, like I said. Um, you know, uh, man, I just feel bad. The Bills just need some new coach. They need something. They need something like, my God. Whew. 
Then we have the Lions versus the Browns. I'll give the Lions credit because they always compete and walk hard and try to win every single game. And, you know, I I'll give the Lions credit, man. Dan Campbell got them boys just fighting out there and giving it their all and everything. But 13 to 10, the Browns, uh, the Chubb ran for 130 yards. Um, Baker Mayfield had an all right performance. He's not like the elite quarterback that people think he would be. Does he deserve his contract? Eh, I mean, I have some ifs and doubts about it. Uh, Swift, 136 yards, one touchdown on 14 carries. He was very impressive. Um, but yeah, when it came down to it, they were shut out in the first half, but you know. They scored 10 points in the second half, though, so they, they, they fought hard, but, yeah, I mean, you expect the Browns to destroy the Lions and everything, but, you know, it, it turned out to be a really close game, which surprised me. This one was kind of interesting. We had the Texas versus the Titans. You know, they waved Adrian Peterson today. Um, and the Texas won 22 to 13. Like, wow. Like, they snapped an eight game skid and ended the Titans six game winning streak with this win right here. Like, wow. This is just like unbelievable. You know, Adrian Pierce only had 40 yards, so he wasn't really effective, you know, for the Titans and everything. Like, they were shut out in the first half. Tannehill was like nowhere to be found even though he threw for like 323 yards and a touchdown going 35 out of 52 but it just uh. Derrick Henry is just so messed for the Titans even though they won some games and stuff but like he is so messed on that um offense because if they're struggling you know quarterback and receivers Derrick Henry could like just end that in a heartbeat with his one in the building and everything so hopefully he'll come back for the playoffs and everything we just have to wait and see but yeah 22 to 13 the Titans are just not looking good because the Colts is just winning games so far so don't let the Colts sneak back and win the division so then we have the Packers versus the Vikings where you, everyone thinks the Packers is going to win the NFC North and probably win it the Vikings have been really impressive they've been really impressive um they beat the Chargers last week and then they beat the Packers this week wow you know it was, you know I mean hey <laughs> I like it you know a uh, game winning field goal by the Vikings uh Aaron Rodgers four touchdowns to it 85 yards 23 out of 33. Cook goes to have himself a really good game, too, as well. Davin Cooks, 86 yards, one touchdown, 22 carries. Justin Jefferson was just unbelievable. Two touchdowns, 169 yards, eight re receptions. And so, yeah, the Vikings are looking really good at, at a good time and everything, kind of turning the corner and all that. Could they sneak back and win the NFC North? Probably not, because I think the Packers still can win it, though. But, I mean, could they make a a uh, chance to get into a wild uh, card now maybe so I, I have them they have the most chance so I could definitely see that I'm not coming as a fan but I see it as an NFL perspective so I think they could get into the playoffs then we have the Dolphins versus the Jets the Dolphins has been looking really good so far um you know winning the third straight game 24 to 17 um so, I mean, I've been, uh, they've been really impressive. Joe Flacco, 291 yards, 24 out of 39, and two touchdowns. Uh, but, you know, the, deep, the defense for the Dolphins has been really good recently and everything. So, I mean, I, I've been really impressed with the Dolphins' defense. But, yeah, the Dolphins, Dolphins won the third straight game. Could they make it a fourth straight game? We just have to wait and see this weekend when they go against Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. And we'll get into Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get into the Saints versus the Eagles. I mean, the Saints are just... They, they probably slapped themselves in the head and it's like, God dang it, we should have got Cam Newton. They should have gotten themselves another quarterback and everything, though. Jalen Hurts has been really impressive. The Philadelphia Eagles has been really impressive and everything. Um, if you're talking about probably like the second best team in the NFCs, it would be the Eagles and everything. Um, but yeah, uh, Jalen Hurts went one for three scores. Um, <laughs> I mean, he, he they played unbelievable. They scored 27 points in the first half. I mean, they kind of shut out the Saints right there in the first half. And then the Saints kind of made a really good comeback in the fourth quarter, you know, with 22 points and everything. Trevor Sidemian, 22 out of 40, 214 yards and three touchdowns. Um, but they, it was too much Philly, though. That's all I could say. Let's go ahead and get into what I've been waiting for is Cam Newton, you know, being, you know, the quarterback in going back up against Juan Rivera and that Washington football team. And Cam played all right. He played well. You know, he had some moments, but, you know, 
that just that that's just that one play where he got sacked though it's just like uh there goes cam everybody was excited and then you know he went back to being humble <laughs> you know so but the washington football team uh 27 um to 21 is the final score uh tyler henneke 206 yards three touchdowns you know tony the gibson didn't have himself the game that he had last week but you know he had 95 yards uh malone 103 yards one touchdown five receptions this is without chase young so definitely shout out to uh, the Washington football team for this victory. Then we have the 49ers versus the Jaguars, 30 to 10. Jimmy Garoppolo, 176 yards, two touchdowns. Debo Samuel, 79 yards, a touchdown on eight carries. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much just a dominance right there. So nothing else to say about that game because with the Jaguars just got awful. Then we have the Bengals versus the Raiders, 32 to 13. They snapped their losing skid and everything. Joe Mixon with 123 yards and two touchdowns on 30 carries. And like I said, you know, the Raiders are, is who we thought they were. They were hot. Then, you know, some trouble got in the way. Then it just kind of went downhill from there. Got the John Gruden, you know, uh, the John Gruden email thing this year. I mean, there was just a lot of distractions. You know, I just feel bad for the Raiders, though. But, I mean, we just knew what they will be. So, yeah, they just got pummeled. Then, this is another team that got pummeled. The Cowboys versus the Chiefs. The Cowboys didn't show up. They really didn't show up. That Prescott didn't show up. But, I'll tell you what. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They didn't really have, like, a lot of stars. They lost Tyron Smith, their left tackle, who had been really effective for the Cowboys. You know, Amari Cooper didn't travel. Uh, C.D. Lamb got out, you know, early in the game. So, they didn't really have the, you know, defense, the offensive weapons. The defense, they didn't really have to as well. Like a Demarcus Lawrence and a Randy Gregory. So, but 19 to nine, um, Patrick Mahomes, you know, 260 yards, you know, going 23 out of 37. It wasn't really like that classic Patrick Mahomes game from last week, though. But Clyde Edwards High played really well. He played really well, though. So, but it was more on the Cowboys, you know, uh, than anything. The Chiefs defense played really well. They played really well. They played zone and was able to shut out the Cowboys. Like, they just, the Cowboys could not figure it out. It was just God awful. Even though we talk so awfully about how bad the Chiefs defense is, but hey, they came and shut out the Cowboys, who's one of the top teams in the NFL. Very impressive. Colt McCoy in the corners going up against the Seahawks. It's time for Pete Carroll to retire or leave Seattle. What's the worst need to go find a new team? I'm so sorry. Um, he done enough everything he could, but I mean, you're just going to waste his prime like that, though, you know. So 23 to 13, the Cardinals. Colt McCoy, 328 yards, two touchdowns going 35 out of 44. James Cardinal. You know, have himself an all right game, you know, with 62 yards and one touchdown on 21 carries. Yeah, I mean, I just feel bad for, you know, Wilson Wilson, you know. I mean, they, they need a coach. They need to start over. They need to rebuild or something, man. I mean, just, uh I just feel so bad for them. Then we have the Steelers versus the Chargers. The Chargers won at 30. 41 to 37, just a hope of 382 yards on 30 out of 41 and three touchdowns. He rushed two as well with 90 yards and nine carries. Keenan Allen with 112 yards and nine reception and everything. Mike Williams had a 53 yard touchdown from Justin Hobart. Um, you know, the Steelers, <laughs> like the defense was just awful against <laughs> the Chargers. They were just pretty much just letting it fly. They were just letting it fly. And. You know, they finally made a comeback offensively in the fourth quarter because they only scored like 10 points, and that was only in the first half, and then they scored 27 in the fourth quarter. That Chargers defense was just letting them to score 27 points in the fourth quarter. Like, come on now. Come on now. Then we had last night's game, the Giants versus the Bucks, 30-10. to Daniel Jones struggled. Tom Brady had two touchdowns, 307 yards, scored 30 out of 46. Mike Evans with 73 yards and a touchdown. Chris Godwin with a touchdown. Um, I mean, hey, you know, the Bucks played really well. You know, they were kind of, you know, after, you know, their loss last week, they had to, like, come out and show vengeance from their loss last week. So, but that was the NFL recap. Uh, definitely comment down below. Tell me who your biggest loser, biggest winner, the most surprised game, the best game, anything from this past weekend of the NFL, definitely comment down below. Subscribe to Off The Ball Network for all your sports needs. Follow us on our social media platforms. And also check out OffTheBallNetwork.com. 
articles, podcasts, everything you need is on OffTheBallNetwork.com. I'm JP, and we're out of here. Peace. Thank you.